Hey guys, it's Raquel with Off The Rack, and I'm here with one of YouTube's beauty bloggers, but also my good friend, and it's Taylor from Kiss and Makeup. Hey guys! Thanks for letting me interview you, Tay. Oh, thanks for asking me to be interviewed. <laughs> Alright, so take me back to your 2008 self. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, I was actually a freshman in high school, and I started watching these beauty videos, and I became so intrigued. I honestly found myself being hooked to the computer for hours on end. I stopped watching TV, I stopped watching, you know, whatever else was on the computer, and I just focused all of my time and energy on YouTube. And I started watching these videos, I made friends with some of the girls on there, and I realized that, hey, I might actually be able to do this myself. So I started filming on my MacBook, which, um, you know, I feel like a lot of people when they first start out, MacBook was the way to go because it's just one way back when. Way back when. <laughs> you can just quickly upload and edit at the same time, so it was very easy. And I started uploading my first video, and it was actually a Miley Cyrus um, tutorial to the seven things. And that's when it all started. So like I said, I was a freshman and I was a freshman in high school and I am now currently a junior in college. So I've been doing this for a long time now. Woo! <laughs> Alright, so what was the process of gaining subscribers? Like how did that happen for you? I feel like you're kinda of asking the wrong person because I am <laughs> still trying to figure that out myself. Um, like I've mentioned, I've been on YouTube if I'm a junior. Here comes the math. math. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, freshman, that's four years. Six years now I've been on YouTube and I'm almost at 38,000 subscribers, which is a great amount, and I love every single one of my subscribers, but there are people who have just recently started and have found that their audience has just blossomed very quickly. So I find that maybe content is very important. I do think editing goes a lot into it, which, you know, I am a little bit computer savvy, but I still have some things that I can learn um, and some tricks and tips that I probably could advance my channel with. So I feel like content is very important. Um, I feel like networking is very important. YouTube is kind of about who you know because like I said here, you know, here you and I are doing this interview and I'm sure a lot of beauty YouTubers collab together um, and it just helps get your name out there. So there's a lot of things that go into gaining subscribers and like I said, um, when I find out the key to it, I'll let you guys know. We'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> Keep you posted on that one. Yeah. Okay, so how do you, speaking of content, how do you come up with content for your videos? Honestly, I film what I would like to watch other people film. So um, after this video, we're actually going to film a haul, which I really do enjoy watching because I get to see new products and find out what people like about them or if they don't like about them. Um, because personally, I'm a very frugal person and so I like to save money when I can and I don't want to buy a product that I'm not going to like. So like I said, I like filming content that I think other people are going to enjoy. And honestly, just anything that kind of pops into my head and I, I'm like, oh, that should be on YouTube. So that's how I felt. Good idea. <laughs> All right, do you think it's hard balancing school and your channel? I have kind of stopped filming beauty videos. Not stopped, but I've started filming more vlogs, which is my daily life. So I'll include my roommates, my friends, and what we do. And in that sense, it's not hard because, you know, I'm filming my everyday life. But to film a beauty video, sometimes it can get hard because it does take a lot of time and effort. I feel like sometimes people don't really realize that, how much time goes into it uh, with filming and editing and, you know, um, marketing and all of that. But I think as long as you have um, a planner, which, you know, I'm very good at planning, you'll be able to balance everything just fine. All right, and transitioning into seasons now, even uh, though it's a, we're considering it cold right now. We live in South Florida, Florida, yeah, and it's probably 60 degrees, and where you think it's freezing, and it's still ever, sunny and beautiful. Yeah, but. it's snowing everywhere else. <laughs> um, what are some beauty tips going into the spring and summer seasons that you'd like to share? I think just knowing the type of skin that you have and finding products that work for your skin is very important because, you know, from going from winter, which is very dry and harsh on your skin, to something like summer and spring, which, you know, can be very dewy and oily, um, you need to know what products work for you. So that's definitely one thing I would say. Um, another thing I would say is don't really follow the trends. I'm not really one to say that, oh, it's spring, you should wear this color. I think wear whatever color any time of the season. If, as long as you want to rock it, you rock it. And if you guys do watch my videos, I say that quite often. I talk about nail colors that I think are pretty for spring, but if you want to wear black all year round, then girl, you wear black all year round. Yeah, I'm down for that. <laughs> all right, and what is one of your favorite beauty products? One of my favorite beauty products? Well, actually, I have it right here. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 
And not spilling the tea. Not yeah. spilling the tea. Let's multitask here. Ooh, okay. So my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup palette is actually the Lorac Unzipped Palette. Um, I've made my roommate buy it. She bought her mom it. And I just rave about this to everyone. I know a lot of people like the Naked Palette. What do you use? I use the Naked Palette. Wrong. Okay, the Naked Palette is... Not anymore, guys. I'm going to use that one. <laughs> it is overrated. The quality, I thought, was great at the time, but not until I bought this palette. So mine's a little banged up because I've had it for a few years, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to have to do a close-up with this one. But honestly, the quality of these shadows are just, like, in... Incredible. You're not going to be able to see from that far, but literally they're amazing and I think the shadow this palette I believe runs for $42, which is a great deal and um, I use it absolutely every day. One product that I have discovered this year that I absolutely love and I can recommend to pretty much almost everyone if you suffer from under eye circles, which I okay, I do very badly, so this is my go-to. This is the Garnier Skin Renew um, Anti Roller Ball and this is in medium deep. This coverage is amazing and it's so nice underneath your concealer. I apply this after I apply my eye cream and um, I'm out the door with it. I wear this just by itself to school and it makes me look very awake and illuminated without having to prod, without having to apply too many products. So for all those all-nighters we pull for college. Or party or party, whatever. <laughs> there you go. There we go. We need that. Alright, and um okay. What other bloggers or vloggers? Do you like to subscribe to or watch on YouTube? Wow, that's a hard question because I honestly do follow so many different people. Um, I would like to shout out Taylor, which is B is for Beauty, just because she's one of my homegirls, and you know we hung out at IMAX LA together, so I really do enjoy her. Um, I love Kelly Loves Beauty One, which I got to meet her um, in Tampa New Year's Eve, so I enjoy watching her. Um, and there's just so many I could spend the entire day here talking yeah. with you about who I love, but. I think it's very important to co leave comments on people's videos, so anytime I'm watching a video and I like their content, I'll tell them that I like it because for me, the feedback is so important, so I like to provide that for other YouTubers as well. So you guys know what to do after you watch this video, comment. Okay, so what other bloggers or vloggers would you want to collab with besides this awesome collab that's happening right now, guys? Which we've already done, so I can check that <laughs> off my list, but I've actually been following Ariel Diaz on Instagram for a very long time now. He is a fabulous makeup artist. And one of my good friends is actually friends with him as well, so I'm hoping maybe one day I can collab with him. Um, he does more of the makeup, and I'd like to maybe have him do my makeup for some modeling shoots. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can work with Ariel because he is awesome. If you guys don't follow him, his Instagram name is The Vanity Diary. Definitely check him out. He has awesome makeup looks. All right, and what's next for your brand? Next for my brand, well I am studying communications in college right now and realistically I would like to take YouTube to television. Um, I'm interested in doing broadcasting so I would like to do what we're doing right now yeah. every day of my life and I've known it for the past six years so if I could do it for the next 46, I'd be a happy camper. 46 million years. Yeah, 46. Right. Why am I cutting it short? Let's say 100 Come and Come on. Yeah, what is Let's this? Let's keep it going. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please, please, please subscribe to Off The Rack. And if you want to stay updated with us, follow us on Twitter at Off The Rack and our brand new Facebook page. Woo -woo. And obviously, you know, follow this amazing beauty <laughs> vlogger <laughs> expert um, on YouTube at her channel. Kiss and Makeup. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my links are the same. It's T4, because T-A T -A was taken. Um, T4YLORLAYNE, Taylor Lane, so you can check me out on my social media. Cool, thanks for watching. Also, we may have another little su surprise on her channel. So, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. Yeah, check that out. Bye, guys.